Hello all, welcome back to another review. Today we're doing a, kind of an exclusive cigar. Um, the reason I say it's exclusive is because you can only get it in one place and one place only from my understanding. I'm not going to say that's 100% correct, but all the research I've done on this says you can only get it in one place. And the one place you can get it is from Famous Smoke Shop in Easton, PA. Uh, to either go to their brick and mortar store or order it online. Um, yeah, so anyway, this is uh, what we're doing. Oops, sorry. It's uh, the Robusto size. So let me pull up the info on it here. Okay, it is. <coughs> okay, it's a Robusto. So we got that out of the way. Uh, it has a, San, a Cubano San, De, San, De, San Andreas wrapper. Sorry. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know how it goes. Sometimes the tongue doesn't want to do what the brain tells it to do. Um, it has a Nicaraguan binder and it has a Dominican, Nicaraguan, and Peruvian filler. So that sounds quite interesting. I don't think, well, I'm sure I've had cigars that had three fillers in it before, but you know, I'd have to go back and check, but we'll see. Anyway, let's get after this. Get the, get the paper out the way here. Those of you that have been subscribed for a long time and following my videos know that I don't really like paper between me and my cigar. Wow, this, 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 this is really on there. They made sure it wasn't coming off. Wow. I don't want to destroy it because I don't have this one yet. I guess I'm going to have to tear it instead of peel it. I guess that'll do. Put this one in my scrapbook. I don't know about you guys, but I um, I have photo albums that I put my uh, cigar bands in. Um, I usually have just one. Of each that I, each brand or variation of that brand or whatever, um, like this one. Since I've done the robusto of it and I have the band now, I won't do it. I won't save any other bands from other sizes of this if I get them. Just having the one band is good enough. Anyway, not nice, gorgeous, oily wrapper. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's got a nice sheen to it. Real nice. Mmm. Oh, I love that aroma. Mmm. Yeah. You know what it's, you know the aroma you get when you walk into a well-maintained humidor and it's just right there? Yeah, this is it. Mmm. Yeah. Nice earth, earthiness to it. Rich tobacco aroma, really rich. Man, that is nice. I like that. I could sit here and just do this all day. Anyway, let's get on with it. Get a hole punched here. Doing a punch today. My cutter broke on me. Not happy, but what can you do? Life's a bitch, and then crap happens on top of it. So anyway, mmm, love that pre-draw. Love it. Got the same aroma coming through the pre-draw as the wrapper. Although the wrapper is more pungent, but the pre-draw is really good. Mmm, that is nice. 
Okay, put some torch to it, or put some bit to it, I guess I should say for now. Still waiting on my torch lighter. Wow, that is smooth. Yeah, I like that. Getting good smoke, great draw. Construction feels good. There's no hard spots through it. Pretty consistent all the way up and down. Draw has an excellent, it's, it's just the right amount of resistance. We're running just a little bit here, but I think that'll probably even out as we go along here. I'm not too worried about it. There is a slight blemish on the wrapper, though. I will say that. And I don't know if that's something in the manufacturing or if it's something that's happened since I got it. But there is a slight blemish. It looks like, um, I don't know if you can see it there. Uh, there it is, right above my nose. Just barely see it. A little blemish there. But nothing that's going to uh, affect the smoking, I don't think. Nope. I blew smoke back through it and nothing came out of it, so it's not a hole in the wrapper or binder. So we're good there. If it is a hole, it's just in the wrapper and not through the binder, so we're good. That's one of the problems of having uh, cigars shipped to Florida. It takes a while for them to get here, depending on where you order them from. And during the summer, it gets hot in them trucks. Them dry van trailers, you know, UPS, FedEx, whoever hauls it, Postal Service. It's hot in there, and you know what happens when it gets hot? Tobacco beetles hatch. So, it's kind of one of the bad things about if you mail order cigars. That's why, another reason why I prefer to support the local brick and mortar guys and gals. You know, not only are you supporting a small business, but you're getting a quality product you know and I mean they have to ship theirs in too so the same thing could happen to them but still I'm not saying don't mail order definitely mail order if you can to get some of the stuff at a cheaper rate but you know let's support the uh, small business while we're at it too kind of evenly split it up mm -hmm. That's nice. I like that. Smooth, real smooth. Got a bit of earthiness to it. Bit of spice. A little peppery on the back of the palate, a little bit. Smooth through the nose. Bit of sweet aroma coming through when you uh, go back through the nose. <coughs> yeah, I like that. That is nice. That is really nice. And it seems to be evening out the, uh, yeah, it seems to be evening out. So I think we'll be all right there. I don't think it's going to be a problem. I guess we'll find out when I let you know about halfway through. Till then, okay, as you can see, we're about halfway through. Uh, it's been a good smoke. That problem at the very beginning evened itself out, as you can see. We no longer have that problem. Uh, construction's been excellent. Haven't had any problems with the draw. Uh, wrap relief's held up good. Hasn't busted open or anything. Uh, been real good.
Still very smooth. I'm liking that. It's very smooth. Rich tobacco aroma coming back through the nose. A uh, little bit of pepper on the back of the palate still. A um, little earthiness. Yeah, it's a good full-bodied cigar. Well, medium to full-bodied, we'll say. I mean, I've had stronger, so let's go with a medium to full-bodied on this one. Really like it. It's been an excellent smoke. Yeah. Thing of it is, is um, like I said, I've had stronger cigars and I've had milder cigars. And this one, the more I think about it, it's more in the medium range. Medium to a little more than medium. Not much so. It's a good smoke. I wouldn't recommend it as a beginner cigar though. Might be a little overpowering for the first time cigar smoker, uh, but after you've been into it for a while, yeah, that'd be an excellent smoke. And like I said earlier, the only place you can get this is Famous Smoke Shop, to my knowledge. Uh, apparently, this was a, um, a collaboration between Romeo and Julieta and Famous Smoke Shop, and I guess they have two other collaborations. Um, I won't bring those up right now, but maybe I'll do a review on those in the future. But things like this, I kind of like when uh, tobacco shops do collaborations with uh, cigar manufacturers. Um, it kind of sucks in a way that you can't get it in everywhere, you know, it's limited to that tobacconist. But still... Interesting things come from collaborations, and this is definitely interesting. So, yeah. Um, you might be able to hear my sister in the background. She's talking to my nephew out there in the kitchen. Um, we're sitting here, and uh, I'm recording this while we're getting the front edge of Hurricane Milton. And so far, it's just been quite a bit of rain and a little bit of wind. Not bad. But we have yet to get the main brunt of it, and we spent the last two, two and a half days prepping for it, you know, boarding up windows, things like that, see what happens. Maybe we went too far, maybe we don't need to do all that, but hey, better safe than sorry. We've been filling water jugs, bagging ice, getting everything ready, you know, better safe than sorry. Um... We haven't had a mandatory evacuation here yet, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's the halfway mark, and I'll see you on the finish up. All right, as you can see, we're getting down to the bottom of it here. Been a great smoke. Really enjoyed it. Uh, construction's been excellent all through. Uh, haven't had any problems with the draw. Wrapper stayed together. Been a really good smoke. Smooth. Uh, nice earthy tones to it, a uh, little peppery still on the back of the palate, uh, lovely aroma coming through the nose. Still getting a good amount of smoke on the draw. All in all, it's been a really good smoke. I would highly recommend this one. Um, like I stated before, it's not a beginner smoke. I wouldn't take a first time cigar smoker and hand this to him, but somebody's been at it for a while, we'll really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, been a good smoke. So, if you would uh, like to give this a try, like I said, as far as I can find, the only place you can get it is at FamousSmokeShop.com. Um, I would give it a try though, it's, it's well worth the try. So, alright, well, um, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when the next cigar video drops, or any video for that matter. Uh, if you would like to help me keep doing these uh, videos, uh, donations are never expected, but always very much appreciated. Uh, make a donation, get a shout out on my channel. I would appreciate it. Um, yeah. 
you'll be able to find my cash app and my PayPal in the information below the video so yeah I guess that's about it well as always have a great day ladies and gentlemen